it's time for us to ju our judgment. It's time for us to really move into compassion, understanding. We've all been conditioned by our parents. So have they. So they're just living their conditioning as we are. And our intention is for us slowly, slowly to let go of the conditioning and start being really present and conscious. And that's the work of the Stargate. That's Vivienne's work, is to bring more consciousness here. Because the more conscious you become, the more ridiculous you see the way the world is ha operating right now, and the more you want to change it. You want to live in a totally different reality. And so by working together and by creating this big wave of energy on the third day, we are, as Vivian said, going to shift the timeline again, uplift the reality. And this is going to have to happen many times from many different places, but each step counts. And Vivian, I love what you said about the Atlantean masters in particular having a role to play in assisting us with lifting this constriction, shifting the energy on the planet. To me, it indicates like a readiness to embrace that level of our collective past, which it makes sense to me because it's like the Lemurians are like these lovely in harmony with nature kind of victims in the story of the downfall of those ancient civilizations. Like, and then the Atlanteans are these tech genius, like the story is essentially that they had to, their egos got too big. They, they wanted to do things with technology that it wasn't right for them to be doing. Well, <clears throat> the image that came to me as you spoke, Jules, and thank you for mentioning this. Think of it as a DNA strand, okay? So you have one strand or one aspect is the Lemurian energy. The other is the Atlantean. So it really activates something very important even in our own DNA archetypes. So you talk about tech genius, very advanced mental faculties, and that's usually the cliche or the overall understanding of Atlantis, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So hold that thought for a moment here. Now the other strand, so to speak, Lemuria, more heart energy, compassion as a universal virtue, not the human emotion, but the universal virtue, and being in sync with nature, guardianship, talking with nature, crystal energy. But if you both bring them back together, that exactly is what we are interweaving. And that's the return of the perfect combination of the wisdom for opening the brain to the higher mental faculties and to bring into the power of the heart center. And that will lead eventually to opening more to work with the higher dimensional star beings because if you look at the Octorians or the six-dimensional uh, Elven groups or the Andromedans, all of it, the technology that we utilize is really high conscious assistive technology. So you talk about super brain, but at the same time, it is done with the mastery that comes with that. So I feel like we are returning that point of self-mastery where we are recombining the real power of our soul, of who we are as essence of light, essence of beingness, plus opening these really advanced, more mental faculties and abilities, like being able to be very prophetic in telepathic communications, complete self-healing, rebalancing all the vibratory tone of all of your organs and cellular at a cellular level, in a heartbeat, and being able, oh, there's a distortion in my field, I reconnect, I readjust, it's done. You'll be able to do that. And it's not just for us, the Octarians, it's for the entire human race, but we are returning in that point. This is where 
when you talk about Jules about the Lemurian and the Atlantean, well, I can see all their presence right here on the island at that garden that you talk. Mm -hmm. Well, we are staying at the hotel as a garden. So the Atlantean just told me, after the break, I'm going to go and commune with them because they're going to they're going to help us a lot to initiate the uplifting and the release of the old timeline of guilt, mm -hmm. feeling responsible. I remember the catalysts, releasing catalysts energies, releasing I felt like responsible. I was unable to save those. I was unable to preserve the crystalline temple and so forth and so forth. So it is time for all of us in humanity, along with all sentient life, including the birds who are singing right now, to really uplift ourselves beyond that distortion field if we want to really continue to reascend to into the fifth dimensional unified field. So I can feel how crucial our work together and collectively is and how it's going to be this beautiful catalyst. And then imagine after that we come in and we interweave with the Lemurian. So the Lemurian will come, the masses will come. But first, the Atlantean, oh, they are very, very present. Mm -hmm. It is time. And how many souls on the planet still carry that guilt, right? Yeah. Guilt and grief. Yeah. Grief. Like, for real, yes. how many of you feel um, a connection to Atlantis? Just raise your hand. Yeah, me too. Did that you hear that sound? Out. It was a beginning. Yes. For those at home, that's probably half the group and yeah I more. imagine that many of you at home are still putting yeah, your hand up and just briefly for those Wait, people out that... of you who feel a connection how many of you feel guilt or grief or both raise your hand yeah yeah Quite so thing. it's like this is a kind of collective shadow work that we're doing because as we shed the grief and the guilt there is a subtle mechanism of carrying that in our Akashic record that's keeping us distanced from that state of higher consciousness we were in, in those times. Yeah. Yeah. So it's time to bring it back. So for those that, were, that are unfamiliar with the story, basically the cataclysm of the, the collapse of the Atlantean society, there were people that felt guilty because they were participating in creating that. And a whole bunch of people who were there feeling victims of what was happening. And so that's carried in those that were there, carry that very strongly, either guilt or victimhood. But also we're talking about many, many thousands of years ago. And as you know, you get con conditioned by your parents. And so over the ages, as humanity has evolved, more and more people have got one or more of their ancestors connected back to that time. And so many people carry it in their subconscious without even realizing it. And that's why it's so important at this time for all of us, whether you feel a connection or not, to have that intention of bringing everything back into balance. And that's what we're doing here. 